it's one of them ones where it's like again the general consensus was always to jump on Man City and Man City are the bad guys and this that and the other but bro when you actually understand business yeah and what these guys are doing like you'll understand that Man City are the victims here bro and you know what's mad here yeah? I had a football intermediary uh, message me on Instagram after I, I done my last show and I said about how they're trying to fuck Manchester City and he said yo like a similar things happening in um in football with the intermediaries so basically um what's happening with the intermediaries before to be to represent a player for instance like rashford's brother represents him they they scrapped it so you didn't need to sit an exam you didn't need to sit an exam mm. so like harry kane's brother used to manage him I, f- I don't know if he still does because i heard that they had a falling out when he didn't get the city move but um um rashford's um Rashford's brother manages him and so on and so forth. Now, what they've done is they've put they've put it back in place so that you need to do an exam. You have to pay X amount. And if you're related to the player, you can't represent them. And then on top of that, you can only get a certain percentage of X, Y, Z in it. So they're taking the money away from the family and meaning that you have to join a super agent now. Do you know what I mean? All these wow. old guys that are rinsing your fucking players, bro. Because you can't just say, oh, my mom's going to represent me now. Because if your mom doesn't have the paperwork, they won't allow it. You know, like that. So this is what they're doing now. They're trying to they're trying to change the rules again. And this is what they do. And this is what I always say. This is what the elite do, innit? They, they're doing it with football agents. So mm. the players are going to be affected. They're doing it with football clubs. Do you know what I mean? And they do it everywhere. They do, they're doing it with my futsal team as well. Like increasing... Um, increasing the amount of qualifications that you need in order to coach in the league, increasing the price to enter the league, increasing all these things. Because what it does is it keeps the people with the money in here and it pushes yeah, the, the people top, without yeah. the money down. Do you know what I mean? And that's exactly what they're doing with um with Manchester City. It's the elites. And because then the people sit and talk about financial fair play. Where, where's the fairness then? Wow. <laughs> yeah, but where you go? Broke. They say financial fair play, but then they're telling Man City that they can't spend their own money. Why is that fair? Exactly. Bro, the, the funny thing is, is when they get off of it, which they probably will. Oh, they will. Yeah, like, the, the lawyer they've got um, backing them yeah, is on like five grand a day, bro. He's like the best lawyer in the UK. Yeah, no, sorry, five grand an hour. Five grand a fucking hour, bro. And I see some dopey Arsenal fan put out the other day saying, yeah, Man City have hired a lawyer that's on 400k a week. Mm. Yeah, and I was like, 400k a week. He must be working 80 hours a week to get that on five grand an hour. Mm. Yeah, there ain't no lawyer at that high end of fucking being a lawyer. Yeah, that's mm. working 80 hours a fucking week, mate. So yeah, yeah. and he goes, and then, and then at the bottom of his tweet, it said something like, Yeah, if man's city are innocent, why do they need to get fucking five grand a day, uh, five grand an hour lawyer? Yeah, one of the replies killed me. It goes, Yeah, if you're being ch- uh, done with murder, but you know you ain't done murder, are you just gonna not bother getting a solicitor? Yeah, just get a community support in it. Just say, oh, just give me one. Uh, what, you know what yeah, I mean? just give me the duty solicitor, bro. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> These people are fucking funny. Bro, if he's going to get off of that. They're going to get off of that, Man City. And, and they'll probably get charged with a couple of little things, but it'll be uh, a little 20 grand fine, 30 grand fine for this, 20 for that, maybe mm. a million, maybe whatever. I don't know, 10 million. Yeah, but if Pep's sitting there that confident, and I know... These football managers do chat shit at times, yeah. But if you're sitting there saying, "Well, we've already beaten UEFA," yeah, cool. Mm. We take on we take on the Premier League now. Yeah, I don't think he'd be sitting there putting that out for the whole world to see that. Like, if uh, he yeah, weren't bro, confident he's because he's got more integrity you know than that. They beat UEFA and they're gonna beat the Premier League as well because these guys would have hired the best, best lawyers to mm. run through every single thing with a fine tooth comb before they pulled the trigger on anything. Do you understand mm. what I'm saying? So the same people that they hired will get them out of it. I have mm. no, I have no doubts. Do you know what I mean? I don't see City being punished, but the fact that they're trying to um, punish City, and the fact that they're trying to keep City from spending the money that they have, even though they've spent their money well in the community and stuff like that, it just shows you again it's the elites. And when he named the clubs, are oh, trying to get us thrown at the Champions League. Yeah, that's because they want their spot. Yeah, I, I can't believe Wolves are in that list, by the way. Mm. I, I can totally understand Arsenal being in that list. Mm. Yeah, because we ain't been in it for six years. We're desperate. Mm. Yeah, we'll maybe get better on the pitch, innit? <laughs> like, you might get in there. Yeah, but Wolves, like, teams like that. Mm. Nine Premier League teams were trying to get them out of the Champions League. That's mad. That is actually insane. Mm. That's what I mean, bro. So, I do, like, unlike a lot of people, 
because like I said, because I've seen the politics that happens with the FA, because I'm I have to deal with it myself now. Do you know what I mean? With my club. Do you know what I mean? And shit like that. I understand, yeah, what it's like when the elites are trying to keep everything for themselves, bro. And they don't mm. they don't want to share with no one. They don't want you to surpass what they have in mind. They'll rather have the, a big piece of a small pie than share a, a share a piece of a bigger pie with everyone else. They ain't trying to share shit. Bro, they're shit. They're shit. I mean? The Man City are just coming and fucked up mm. the, the big teams. But they have. They mm. fucked up the they fucked up the status quo because it was Man United, Arsenal, and then Chelsea for a little bit. Do you know what I'm saying? And Chelsea wasn't so bad because, do you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't Arab money. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So, Roman wasn't under the same scrutiny that, um, like, the Arabs would be under. But then, obviously, with the the whole thing where everyone's just kind of, oh, we're cutting off Russians now. All of a sudden, Roman's under the, under the microscope. But he should have been under the microscope long before that because everyone knew that the money was booky. But who cares? You mm. know, like that. No one cared where Roman was making his money from before. Nobody cared. And all of a sudden, man gets sanctioned. Then all of a sudden, he's the worst person in the world. But actually, like he done very well by the football club. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and did. yeah, you're right. Chelsea weren't very dom- weren't dominant like City, you would say. But that's because that's because there's loads of different factors. But they have what two Champions Leagues, I believe. You know two what I mean? Champions City have leagues, none. Two Europa Leagues, fucking four Premier Leagues or five Premier mm. Leagues, maybe. There you go. Yeah. A you know couple what I'm of saying? cups along the way as well, FA Cup, League Cups, and all of that. So. This is it. So you have to respect what he's done. But it was Man United, Arsenal, Chelsea, Man City have come in and pretty much surpassed all of them except for us. Do you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, and Man City take every se- se- uh, competition seriously. League seriously. Cup, FA Cup, League. Like they average Champions winning like two trophies, like two trophies, like on average. Like, do you know mm. what I'm saying? Like, that's what they do. Yeah, every year they used to win so, the fucking League Cup. Yeah, so now let's put a rocket up everyone because it's like, oh, normally mm. everyone rests their best players in that, but they've got such a good yeah. squad that they they can rest their best players and still win it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they're fuming, bro. Nothing's going to happen mm. to them. And then when, when it finally comes out that nothing's happened mm. to them, you watch them counter sue them. Yeah. Yeah, for loss, and of, loss of... Like for and so they should. And, and the man's saying, oh, but spending way more than your actual revenues and that. Who cares, bruv? Do you know what I'm saying? Who cares? Mm. Like this is the point. Who actually cares, bro? If, if that, if that was any other revenue. football team, if like, if you support Arsenal, mate, and that was Arsenal doing that, would you care? Because mm. I no, wouldn't. But bro, no, but bro, it's not even that, Lee. Here's what, here, this is what I'm saying and what people can't seem to get into their head. When man is saying you're spending more than your revenue, so because you're a club that traditionally doesn't have a massive fan base, yeah, because of that, you now have to be held to that same standard for the rest of your existence. Why? Mm. Do, you, do you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's crazy. That doesn't make no sense. Like I said before, that just means, you know what, just because you were born into a low, low income household, so now, because you were born into a low income household and your mum and dad didn't earn much, there's going to be a salary cap here on how much money you can earn, Lee, because yeah. both your parents didn't earn a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> It's mad, isn't it? The, the, but bro, the, the, these FFP rules are gonna have to change soon, man. They're gonna have. Well, that's to what I mean. Man, saying it's gonna ruin football. It's not gonna ruin football because all football clubs are literally owned by billionaires most of the time. How's it gonna ruin football? 18, 18 of the eighteen of the twenty Premier League teams are owned by billionaires. Well, there you go. So they can all spend. Yeah, they just choose not Do you to. You know what I mean? If you want to make it fair, even though it's not fair, then just put a spending cap. And say that you can't have a net spend of more than X X amount of money per window. And then everyone can spend whatever they want to the tune of 300 million. Mm. What's the problem? What's the problem then? Do you exactly. know what I mean? But you can't say to Man City, yo, just because you don't have more friend, fans than Man United, you can't spend more than Man United. But they have more money than us. So why can't they spend more than us? They should be able to spend more than us because they have more money. Bro, the Who co- are you to tell someone track, what they yeah, can do they... with their money? The, the comment in my chat the other day is saying corrupt men telling other corrupt men are uh, <laughs> calling them like calling them but corrupt. This is it. Like, Pop calling corrupt. the kettle black, Lee. Exactly, it's mad, bro. At, at the end of the day, why can't he spend his own fucking money to make his team the best on the planet? That makes no sense to me. Now, but it's not fair for the for the rest of the teams. We'll get richer owners then. 